Working around the rail can be dangerous at the best of times. That's why it's important you have an appropriate work on track authority to protect you and the people around you. Absolute signal blocking or ASB is one of those forms of protection. I want to take some time with you today to talk through the important safety aspects of using ASB. Although ASB is currently industry accepted practice, we would now like to briefly take you through John Holland guidelines as to why it is the less desired form of work on track. Traditionally, the use of ASB has led to a significant number of incidents across the rail industry, with the consequence of such events even as serious as loss of life. Knowing the level of risk associated with an ASB, we want to ensure it is used as infrequently as possible and only to be used by those who have the ability to use additional controls out in the field. To negate the risk, John Holland insists that when using ASB, those in the field must use a second form of protection. If an ASB is necessary to be taken, the following steps must be followed every time. One, make the ASB request with network control. Two, communicate the location of the worksite and signals, noting it is the PO that should nominate the signal and not the NCO. Three, ensure protection arrangements are agreed and in place. Four, assurances are met from both ends. Five, authorization of the ASB with network control. Six, fulfill the ASB. We must remain vigilant and make allowances for the fact that the level of defence of an ASB is not as strong as other forms of protection. And the goal at the end of the day is to maximise efficiencies, but ultimately the safety of you and your teammates are always the first priority. At the end of the day, it is not just your life at stake. In a split second, the lives of you your workmates and family can be changed forever. ASB working, let's make it as safe as possible, let's do it for them. <laughs>